What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I want to talk about this particular fantasy booking idea that I've been seeing a lot lately on social media. And that is the idea that Seth Rollins will turn on uh, Cody Rhodes at this year's WrestleMania. Now, here's the thing. I know some of y'all just want to see the world burn and want to see Cody get screwed over once again at this year's WrestleMania. But it has to make sense. Now, Seth Rollins and Cody, they've had their issues per storyline in the past. And to be honest with you, Cody has pretty much won the feud in every instance. And if it was for the World Heavyweight Championship and that was the story they were trying to tell, obviously, I think we would probably have more of a heel Seth Rollins in that case. But considering the story they've been telling so far, I think it's going to be a little bit different this time. I think the story they want to portray is WWE, the guys that are there day in, day out versus the bloodline the people that aren't there and kind of abusing their power we've seen time and time again how roman reigns uses the bloodline to you know help him win matches we've seen it with seth rollins we've seen it with cody rose and plenty of other people so the whole championship that seth rollins has was initially created so they could be a top champion of sorts on uh on wwe television because right now it wouldn't have been anybody other than roman and roman this is most we most we've seen him in quite some time so that's really what the story they've been building with seth rollins title reign as a whole is the the everyday working horse um the working man in the company and and trying to put on best matches and roman reigns is the guy that you know the must-see attraction that doesn't have to be here or be at these shows often at all because he knows he's the top guy. You feel me? So it just wouldn't make sense if they set it up the way they have where Rollins has Cody's back. He doesn't like what The Rock is doing. He doesn't like what the Bloodline's doing. Hell, it, it really doesn't make sense for him to turn on Cody considering that the rock and roman reigns have both been cooking seth rollins at 400 degrees temperature in the oven like legitimately they have both made him seem like he's a jag he's a joke he gets called a walking clown emoji like they don't take him seriously and you have the rock threatening to take his championship away just because he can it makes no sense for him to turn on cody the guy that has his back the guy that's trying to make things right in the company to put things back in order that that wouldn't make any sense some of y'all will say oh well he hasn't beaten cody yet still makes no sense you can do that sometime down the line if you wanted to but once again what story are you gonna tell after that oh now we're gonna do another feud with seth and cody no even when they were teasing the idea of Cody choosing Seth to main event WrestleMania, you heard the fans' reaction. No one wants to see that. We've seen it enough. Nobody wants to see it. There, I don't think there's anybody right now that wants to see that match. Maybe some of y'all do, but the majority of fans don't want to see that match because we've seen it before. It doesn't. It won't change anything. Even if Seth does get a win, he still would have to win more matches to make it even even in their little rivalry feud they have. So no, there's no point in doing that. There's no point of having a swerve for the sake of having a swerve because it makes no sense in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't. It doesn't. I think the overall story they're trying to tell now is WWE versus the bloodline. And the reason why I say that even more, because The Rock has mentioned and had some interactions with Triple H multiple times and pretty much disrespecting him. And we all know Triple H is, you know, he's cool with Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is a Triple H guy. You know, so there's some history there. So it just wouldn't make sense for him to turn considering that he's trying to make WWE a better place in a sense of, you know, champions being there 
and and on a full time schedule and and also not having people just, you know, do what they do whatever they want on the show, especially the bloodline members. That's literally what the vibes I'm getting. So it's just for me, I think that's just kind of like nonsensical booking. That's just people wanting to see the world burn. I know it looks like that and there could be some instances where you think maybe he's going to turn, but once again, that makes absolute no sense because now essentially if you do do that you mess up Seth Rollins character because that's just okay that I can't even put into into words how that just makes absolute no sense why not go after the guys that have been trying to you know screw you over and disrespect you and what you've done for the business go after them not after after Cody, that makes no sense. And if you do have Seth turn on Cody, then it's another pointless feud. And then fans are not going to really care. Like, Cody lost, and this time it was because of Seth. I don't want to see that feud. I don't. My interest level for that feud instantly goes out the window. And my interest level for Cody, I, I'm going to be honest with you, it dies down significantly. Like, it drops significantly because, once again, He's now he has to overcome Seth again. This is a story in a few we've already been down before, been down the road. It's done. So I think they they need to focus on the story at hand. Seth and Cody trying to level the playing field in WWE. And I'm sure there's going to be more people that align with Seth and Cody in the end. Like they're building this up like a very big end game. Night uh, last year was part one of i guess you could say the infinity war if you want to compare it to in to marvel mcu night one was uh night one not night one but uh wrestlemania 4 39 was infinity war and wrestlemania 40 is gonna be the end game because this is it they they they're assembling their team so it just doesn't make sense to have seth try to screw over cody because it doesn't help him in the end to be honest with you, it doesn't help him because he still would be under the 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 ruling of whatever the bloodline wants to do. So it 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 really doesn't help in a sense, considering they've been talking trash about each other. It just it doesn't help. So I just wanted to put that out there. I've seen a lot of people on social media saying, oh, Seth's gonna turn or Seth should turn. No. Sometimes the simpler story is the better story. Have Seth side with Cody and have him do whatever he can to help Cody out to overcome uh, the odds and finish his story. And then from there, you can figure out what you want to do from there. But right now, having Seth turn on him would just immediately make him look like a joke because you just sat up here and let these guys talk shit about you for months, but you ain't do nothing but you're going to turn on the guy that has your back? That's stupid. There's no reason to do that. And then it just kind of kills Cody's momentum going forward in WWE, which I don't think they need to do. So that's just my personal take on it. Comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel like that fantasy booking makes sense? Would you guys prefer that to happen? Would y'all want Seth Rollins to turn on Cody? Or would y'all like where things are going right now, where Seth and Cody are on the same page, trying to take down the bloodline and and bring WWE back to, you know, where it should be, where, you know, the wrestlers that are there day in, day out, they are the guys, they are the girls that are, you know, trying to push the company forward, not the bloodline and, you know, the powers that be with them. So y'all let me know down below, but I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150k, and I'm still getting speed to YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all next one. Peace.